Yeah, here we are today. I'm gonna do a little work on my 2003 Tundra. I've changed the oil and my oil pressure gauge and my dash shows I have low oil pressure. I don't think that's truly the problem. So what we're gonna do here is a little fix that should be less expensive than getting into my gauge and changing out the thing. Let's see. My truck currently has 258,772. If you look over here, my oil gauge is showing just barely above low. I don't think that's truly an issue. If I rev up, let's see. If I rev up, it barely moves up a little. So we're going to work on that. We'll get under the hood and show you about it. Okay, we're under the hood. Here you see I have a iForce V8 4.7 liter engine. This is the 2003 model. If you look down below, you can see the, the oil filter here. The sensor we're going to change out is just over here to the left. It is right there. You need a 14 millimeter open face wrench to get it off and on. And we're going to get underneath in just a second. Let me show you the replacement part I got from the auto parts store. It's a PS355 oil sending unit. And here it is. Now they tried to sell me another one that had the same nipple size and the same adapter for the electronic part, but the bell housing was less than half the size of this, so I denied that one and stuck with this PS355. And I'll show you where it goes underneath the truck. I put my wrench there. There's the oil filter, and just to the left, a little bit further to the left, is this piece. And see. So we're just going to put it right in the same spot. It may leak some oil when you change it. So I'm going to have this one ready to go after I loosen up the other. So. First thing we're going to have to do is take this little electronic line to it. It has a pinch part on the back side here. It comes off. I'll just kind of put that out of the way. I'm going to unscrew this using the open face for two minutes. There we go. Now again, I told you it may leak some oil, so I have an oil pan underneath. Okay, it's starting to be hand loose. So I have my other piece ready. And once you get it lined up and then start screwing the hand tight. There. And put your 14 millimeter open face again and tighten down.
Let me get it on there nice and firm. I don't want to go too hard. Then the sensor part goes back on. Snap, and there you have it. Okay, so here's the test. Turn it on. And the oil pressure is moving up, up to halfway. three quarters. Happy with that. Didn't have to go into the dashboard. Didn't have to send a new oil pump. $55 in about five minutes. You can do it too. Okay, best wishes on this.